What is going on, you beautiful humans? Welcome back to the channel. And today what I have for you is a cutie. What I mean by that, we're gonna get you in and out on this one. We're gonna be running a Windows virtual machine through Parallels on an external SSD. And I do recommend an SSD. I will link up a couple of options below when it comes to running a virtual machine on that external drive. A couple of things to think about too is formatting. Now the mini behind me, the M1 Mac mini behind me is running APFS as far as that file system and Parallels will run through that, Windows will run through that because it is hosted on Mac OS. However, if you are thinking about moving programs between a Windows machine and your virtual machine, I would recommend utilizing XFAT. So format to XFAT if you're moving between Windows and Mac OS, hopefully that makes sense. But otherwise, if you're not moving between Windows and you're just connecting this to your Mac, then the Mac OS journaled or APFS is fine. So let's actually get into it, connect the external SSD. We are connected to an M1 MacBook Air. However, this will work on Intel machines as well. All right, so what you're gonna need is Parallels. So if you go to Parallels, there is a free trial. However, this does require a payment if you want the actual license and full functionality of Parallels. I do recommend it if you are someone who is going to be utilizing Windows and Parallels quite often. Uh, I do a lot of gaming and some work on Windows, so it is worth it for me. Now, what you're gonna need is Parallels Desktop 16 for Mac with the M1 chip, if you're working with the M1 chip. So we're, we've already downloaded that, but you will download that as well as, and I will link this up so directions will be down in the description below, you will need the Windows Insider Preview for ARM, Windows 10 Client ARM64, I will link that up. You do have to sign up for this, this is free, you don't have to pay for it, but just uh, to have an account to get that Win Windows Insider Preview for ARM. So for Intel, if you already have a copy of Windows or you wanna download Windows, you can certainly do that, but this is specific for M1. Now, going over here, you will see I already have Parallels and Windows on the external drive, although you can have this all on the internal if you need to, just for ease, I just kept it on the external. So we're gonna double click this and install Parallels. And with a little magic of editing, we can certainly run through this a little bit quicker for you. All right, it's starting. It typically will ask for permissions, accessing desktop documents, or accessing an external drive. Now answering one of your questions that you may have for parallels is that yes, it remains on the Mac itself, the internal SSD within applications. 659 megabytes of data there, but as far as Windows is concerned, that 20 gigs or so, give or take, is going to be installed on the external SSD. So just wanted to answer that. It does remain in applications. Now we are installing it on the Apple M1 and we create new, install Windows or another OS that you could use these other free systems. Now it already has access to the external SSD because it asked for that permission and we are going to just continue. Productivity being my wife's machine that we're installing this on, I think she'll be more focused on productivity versus gaming. We'll continue. We'll just name it Windows 10, that's obvious. And it's going to go into uh, the Samsung 970 Evo external SSD, about 17 gigs, as you'll see. And we'll create here and do a little bit of editing magic here, but one of the things that I do want you to keep in mind is that it actually is installing on this SSD pretty quickly. So this is actually real time right now, but we'll kind of get you through it. What you can do is install it on your internal device on the Mac and then drag Windows over to the external. But actually, this is, this is kind of real time here. So we'll move forward. Now quickly, before we do that, it says while well, Windows 10 is running because we don't wanna disconnect the volume because it is installing on the external SSD. So try not to touch anything, don't disconnect anything. So we'll click okay. It's getting ready. This is actually moving quite quickly. All right, starting to boot up here. This really, as far as real time is concerned, 
took about two minutes to do, two and a half. All right, here we are, installation complete, and we'll click to continue. Opens that up. Of course, I automatically get a browser saying birthday sale for Parallels Desktop. It's already connected to the internet because again, everything is handle, being handled on Mac OS. But if you want to see, so what we'll do is we're in full screen of Windows on that external SSD. And what we can do is do command tab and then move back and forth. And if we come over here, you will see that the Windows 10.pvm, so that virtual machine, is on the external SSD. So again, I could move this over to the internal if I needed to on the Mac, or if I installed it on the Mac, I could just drag this over to the external SSD. And as a side note, I typically utilize 16 gigs of RAM on my M1 Macs, so the more RAM, the better, because you can allocate that RAM and CPU cores in Control Center, and then hitting the gear and then going in over to hardware. That's pretty much it. Stay tuned for more of this where I'm actually running actual programs within this virtual machine on the external SSD, gaming and the like. So wanted to get you in and out. Hope you're all doing well. Keep rocking those faces. Appreciate your time and attention on this one. And I'll see you right back here on the next one. <laughs> <laughs>